Hey everybody, this is Rykard here again, and welcome to another Pokemon Sets video. Today's video is going to be all about Umbreon, and if my mic sounds a little bit weird today, it's because I'm using actually an older microphone. But anyways everybody, let's get started like we always do by taking a look at this Pokemon's typing, abilities, and stats. So to start things off, Umbreon is a dark type Pokemon introduced into Generation 2, and as many of you know already, my personal favorite Pokemon. As for its abilities though, the first one that it gets is known as Synchronize, which is an ability that makes it so that whenever Umbreon is inflicted with a burn, paralysis, or toxic poison, or regular poison, by a Pokemon's move, whether directly being using a move like Will-O-Wisp, or Thunder Wave, or Toxic, or indirectly being maybe something like Lava Plume, or Discharge, or Sludge Bomb, it will in turn pass that status that it just received onto the opponent that used the attacking move that gave it that status. So for example, if your opponent goes for Toxic, Umbreon gets poisoned, but then it in turn activates Synchronize and poisons the opponent that went for Toxic, provided obviously they are not immune to Toxic. And unfortunately, this only works with those three statuses. It does not work with something like Confusion or uh, sorry, Confusion or Freeze or Sleep, so it is something to keep in mind, and also it has absolutely no effect whatsoever on Toxic Spikes because your opponent isn't technically statusing you, you're switching into the poison, so that makes it a little bit different just to throw that out there. But as for its secondary ability and its hidden ability, Umbreon gets Inner Focus, which is an ability that makes it so that Umbreon cannot be flinched ever. Now being a pretty slow Pokemon, you would think that this might come in Andy, however there aren't too many Pokemon that you run into that really rely on this aside from Jirachi and Togekiss and Dunsparce. So you're really never really going to run into a situation where Inner Focus is the better ability, and more often than not, you're going to want to go with Synchronize. But as for its stats, Umbreon is a very bulky Pokemon, having base 95 HP, 110 Defense, and 130 Special Defense, meaning that it can take hits extremely well from the physical and special side. However, its attacking stats being only base 65 Physical Attack and 60 Special Attack, and only having base 65 Speed, make it fairly weak as an offensive Pokemon. So typically, you are going to run it in a defensive matter, and there is one set in particular that is quite popular right now. However, in this cupping sets that you're going to see in this video, I'm going to be showing off two different defensive Umbreon sets that I have really liked using and think you might get a kick out of using if you like Umbreon and want to use it maybe in a different way. So let's get started with the first one that I have for you right now. So for this first set, we're going to start off by giving Umbreon a Calm Nature to increase its special defense and lower its physical attack, and for the ability, we're going to be going with Synchronize. As the EVs, we're going to put 252 into its HP to max that out. 4 into its defense, and 252 EVs into its special defense as well to max that out. And for the item, we can either go with leftovers to allow Umbreon to gain a little bit of HP at the end of every turn, or a heat rock to work in combination with the first move on this set, which is Sunny Day. Now, it might seem weird to be running this move on Umbreon, but Umbreon is actually a fantastic Pokemon to use on a sun-based team because it is so incredibly bulky that it will often give you a very easy opportunity to switch this in and set up sun for the rest of your teammates on your team so that they can continue to provide the offensive pressure that sun teams are known for since they are typically a offensively based team. Now Umbreon is a defensive Pokemon and it does come in handy, especially on these types of teams where you might lose your offense for a turn, but then you can just safely bring in Umbreon, set up a sunny day again to help out your team, and then figure out the next opportunity you will have to start sweeping things with your sun Pokemon that are either going to have, you know, the chlorophyll ability or just be really powerful fire types to abuse the sun. But Heat Rock will amplify Sunny Day to allow it to last for 8 turns as opposed to the usual 5. However, Leftovers can still be very useful to allow Umbreon to retain its walling capabilities for a longer period of time because it's going to be slowly regaining health. But the next move that we're going to be going with is Foul Play because Umbreon does need some way to do damage. And since its physical attack isn't that great, we're going to rely on our opponent's physical attack instead to deal that damage. Now along with this, we're going to be running either Baton Pass or Heal Bell in this next move slot, which might seem a little weird, but Baton Pass is great because Umbreon is so slow that it allows you to actually take a hit and then switch out very easily, providing whatever Sun Sweeper that you have in your team a safe opportunity to switch in. And this is absolutely fantastic for trying to keep the momentum on these offensively based Sun teams and allows Umbreon to be a great kind of pivot switch 
at times when you just want to switch it in and then try to bring out something to counter what is going to be brought out to deal with Umbreon. But if you do maybe fear status on your team a bit, you can also run Heal Bell, maybe in case you accidentally got paralyzed or something like that and could no longer really benefit from Chlorophyll or anything like that, Heal Bell can come in handy. And then the last move on the set is actually going to be Moonlight, which is a recovery move that people don't normally use on Umbreon. However, because of its ability to work in combination with Sunny Day, amplifying its healing abilities, it is actually better for Umbreon as a tank or wall to use Moonlight on this set as opposed to Wish. And it also frees up a move slot because you don't have to run Protect with it, and it will definitely allow Umbreon to benefit from the added recovery to continue walling things and give it more opportunities to maybe switch in again later and set up another sunny day to allow your team to keep the sun up on the battlefield. As for this next set, while also a defensive Umbreon set, functions incredibly differently from the first one, and focuses more on being able to not only wall attacks, but also being able to stop Pokemon on your opponent's team that typically want to use non-attacking moves that will either support their team or slowly wear you down with status. So we're going to start this one off by giving Umbreon a calm nature to increase its special defense and lower its physical attack, and for the ability, we're going to be going with Synchronize again. As for the EVs, we're going to put 252 into its HP to max that out, 80 into its special defense just to amp that up a little bit, and then 176 EVs into its speed to allow Umbreon to comfortably outspeed base 85 speed Pokemon, and I'll get a little bit more into that in a second. But for the item on this set, because we're trying to make Umbreon as wally as possible, we're going to be going with the old reliable leftovers here to allow this Pokemon to recover a little bit of HP at the end of every turn. But for the moves, the first one that we're going to be going with on this set is going to be Taunt, which is a move that you typically do not ever see on Umbreon, because typically this is the Pokemon that ends up getting taunted, not the one that does the taunting. But the reason why we're running this is because it prevents our opponents from using any non-attacking moves, such as moves that would either try to status you, heal themselves, set up entry hazards, or any number of things. And the reason why we have the 176 EVs into speed on this set to outspeed base 85 speed Pokemon is because there are quite a few base 85 speed Pokemon in the UU tier where you typically see Umbreon used, mainly those being Suicune, Cresselia, and Gligar. Now, being able to outspeed those Pokemon is amazingly useful because of the fact that you can prevent Suicune from calm minding and setting up and also going for rest if it has already accumulated a, a couple of calm minds so that way you can prevent it from regaining any health you can prevent gliger from setting up stealth rocks and roosting which is really awesome and you can also prevent cresselia from calm minding and using thunder wave and all sorts of other things it won't be able to use moonlight after it's been taunted um so overall this set just is able to shut down a lot of things that are really common and also be able to stop a lot of other defensive Pokemon that you might run into, like Blissey or Florges or anything like that. Because even though you do technically have a bad matchup versus Florges, Umbreon's bulky enough to be able to take repeated Moonblasts, and being able to taunt Florges pretty much shuts it down from doing anything other than just Moonblast, allowing you a free switch into something that can easily take that. So Taunt is a great move on Umbreon. You don't see it too often, and it gives you so many different options that Umbreon typically doesn't have. But along with that, we're going to be running Foul Play again to allow Umbreon to do a bit of damage. And then the last two move slots are reserved for however you would like to round this Umbreon out. As for recovery moves, you can either go with Wish or Moonlight. And if you're going to go with Wish, I obviously advise you to use Protect with that. But if you do want to give it a little bit more of an ability to damage things, you could go with Toxic on the set, which is particularly useful because of your ability to taunt things, making it so that they can't heal themselves of their status or recover any health they might have lost from the Toxic. So this is really great, and if you go with Moonlight, you can obviously free up the move slot to go for Toxic and Toxic stall things because they won't be able to do anything when they're taunted or you could go with Heal Bell, obviously, to heal yourself of a status or any other team members that have received a status that you do not appreciate. But overall, this set is just designed to not only be a Wally -E Umbreon set, but also prevent other Pokemon from being Wally -E and walling your attackers as well, which makes it a great support Pokemon being used in a way you typically don't see it. But anyways, everybody, that is it for this video, so thank you all for watching. For those that don't know, Umbreon was actually the first video I ever uploaded on this channel. It was the first set video I ever did. It's really bad, but the set is good, but the video itself is just hilarious. If you want to hear what I used to sound like when I initially started out, 
doing these videos. Um, so you can go check that out afterwards. It's really funny. Um, I, you might get a kick out of how I sound. But anyways, um, that is it for this video, everybody. So as always, take care, goodbye, and I will see you all next time.